All right, so I, I recently decided to go and get a Old Town Predator PDL kayak. I wanted the versatility, I wanted the ease of use, and I wanted the stealth to be able to get in some of these backwater ponds and backwater oxbows in my area. When the Predator PDL got delivered, I, you know, the first thing I wanted to do was put it in the bed of my truck and go fishing. I quickly realized, though, that because of my deep set toolbox in my truck, it wasn't gonna fit exactly how it needed to in the bed of my truck. So I looked online for options and I looked and I looked and I looked and I found some fairly expensive options, you know, more than I really wanted to pay. So I looked and came up with the idea, well, why not use a truck bed extender like contractors and construction workers use for hauling lumber? I got this one on Amazon. I think I paid like 60 bucks for it. So if you're looking for an easy way to transport that new kayak, and you know, you're looking to do a little bit more of a budget-minded budget move there, I would suggest going with these truck bed extenders. We'll put the link to it under the video, the Amazon link to this specific one. Again, 60, 70 bucks, and you go anywhere you wanna fish with it. The main reason I chose this particular truck bed extender is because of its adjustability. It doesn't matter what make, model, year of truck you have. You can raise it up, you can widen it, you can make it more narrow whatever you need to do to be able to fit your truck. And again, it takes a couple seconds to get it all snug. And especially with these ratchet strap, with that one ratchet strap, it ain't gonna go anywhere. You know, you're not gonna have ratchet straps flying all over the place, riding down the road, hitting the side of your truck and all that stuff. All you need is one ratchet strap. So I've got this one, I've got a hook right here on my bed liner. I've got it hooked to that hook and I take it through both handles, carrying handles on the side of the old town and hook it on the other side, the same hook over here, and that's all you need. Again, you're not gonna move it anywhere, and it, you know, it takes a couple minutes to put it in the back of the truck, so you know, I've really enjoyed it for being able to, you know, after I get done working for the day, writing, whatever, and it's five o'clock and I wanna go catch a couple bass before supper, I can throw this thing in the back of my truck, get one ratchet strap, and you know, holds it down to the bed, keeps it going from side to side, and man, strap it down, I can be at the pond in 10, 15 minutes, catch me a couple bass, scratch the itch for the week. So don't think, when you have a kayak, don't think that you necessarily need a buddy to come along every time and help you load and unload it. It took me about, you know, three or four trips to kind of get my system down pat, but once I figured it out, man, slide it in, slide it out, couple minutes, and it's really not a big deal. Great for quick afternoon fishing trips by yourself.